Have you ever been helped by Nigerian police or any security agency in Nigeria in terms of emergency? Have you ever been helped? Before you answer that question, let me tell you why I asked that question. Or will I say, let me explain. Recently, there was an incident that happened in Lake Togate. Yes, the popular Lake Togate where that incident happened. There was an accident that happened there that involved five or six people. Um, three people died instantly. It was an 18-year-old boy, or what I call him guy, that was driving and with his friends. You know the way they drive now after they don't go take two or bottles or something like that. So, why they were driving? Accident occurred and three people died immediately. Two um, came out on hot because they are inside another car. And um, the police arrived immediately. According to eyewitness, they said that police arrived immediately instead of uh, helping those who are already dead, maybe rush them to the hospital to check if they can still survive or something, or maybe, you know, check the ones that survived if they sustained any injury or something, that police put handcuffs on those two that survived and arrest them. And the people who gathered started shouting and started dragging the police, making noise. And that is when police now removed the handcuff in them and started carrying the diseased bodies, you know, maybe to mortuary or to hospital. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is that we are in a country where humanity is gone. Nobody sympathizes anything. You know, everything is about force, force, force. We have police force, military force, blink of force, everything is force, force, force. No, 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 no humanity. We see accidents instead of helping them. We start recording. You see people, you see somebody want to drown in a swimming pool instead of jumping or looking for a way to save them. We start recording. Our society is losing its touch. And Julia is queen. We are getting it strong. I saw a trailer had an accident the other day. The driver is unconscious, but people were busy looting the goods in the trailer or in the truck. People were looting while the truck driver is bleeding to death. That is what our society has turned to. Even our security agencies that are supposed to show sympathy in some issues like that. It doesn't matter who is at fault at that moment. Life is going. All you need to do at that point is to see how many you can save. How many you can save. But what is important to Lagos for these people? Anyway, it's still allegedly. Um, it's still alleged. Is to arrest. If people were not there, maybe probably they would just arrest this one and go first before they would not come back for the bodies or to check if anyone survived. Because the story also said that one of the uh, last dead guy that was dragged out from the car was still breathing when they brought him out. If we had a emergency team in Nigeria, maybe the last guy wouldn't have given up. We are losing humanity. No sympathy. Yeah? No sympathy from top to bottom, no sympathy. Everything but now, force, anger, force, force. No life matter again. No value for life. Anyway, I say make I tell you now, drive safely, be careful because nobody's coming for you. Is the sad reality. Nobody is coming for you. You're in charge of yourself. Nobody will come in for you. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you.